welcome back to Kolsky RC. So, this is a first look at the Diatone Roma. So this is the Diatone Roma L3 LR plug and play. So it's a lightweight quad, allowing you for long range, long distance, depending on what battery you have on here, obviously what battery pack you want to use. And it's designed to give you around 10 minutes light time on an 850 battery, which is decent. Or you can obviously run it on one of the many other batteries that you can buy now, the um, lithium ion ones to give you a 20 minute flight time. So this is what you get. Also in the box comes another set of props, yellow, which are yellow and a different pitch. You also get a mount, which is a typical diatome mount to put a GoPro on here. Yes, it will lift a full size GoPro. And you also get in there some cables, another battery strap, two rubber mat, two silicon mats, and that's it. So it's a really nice looking piece of kit as you'll see it has the mount on the back to fit a crossfire receiver. I didn't have a crossfire receiver lying around so I stuck an um, a FR Sky receiver in which is in here and it shouldn't actually be there it should be mounted onto the top of this frame in a little plastic holder which I've had to take off because this isn't, this isn't, I don't know which make one this is, but is isn't an actual, I think this is an unmanned tech one, FPV one, uh, one of theirs, which I do like. So I've got one of them, it comes with the, with the mat, with the wiring already in place, the four wire connection, so you can use whichever type of receiver you like, and it is actually labelled up, so you can just plug your other receiver in, straight into it, and you get the two ends, so one end's got a plug and the other end's um, got a plug, and solderable connections the board it's running on is the um mamba f411 all in one it's got 25 amp escs and the motor the 12 mamba 1206 and these are the very very nicely finished off and beautiful sounding tocker motors that you also get tocker motors on the um roma 4 Sorry, Roma 5. I don't know what I'm talking about. So as you can see, this is analog, this version. So I bought the analog one, and it comes with a Runcam Nano 2, and it comes with their TX400 Ultra Tiny VTX, which is the item that's down here. Very cheap to pick up this. Nice and easy to use, because it's got very accessible buttons on the side here to do your adjustments. I really do like them. I've got one of these to put in another build, and you also get, if you can see there, the nice little, um, whoops, push that back. The nice little clamp to hold the cable in place to make sure it doesn't pop out. Flight wise, I've only had a quick flight round Lo locally with this, just a little flight up above to see what it feels like. It seems to fly really nice. It is it, on these pit on these props, it is a little bit aggressive because literally you're, you're up in 10 to 12 percent, 10 to 15 percent throttle with the things up and hovering which is a little bit aggressive. So if you put the other props on, you're going to change that and you're probably going to have a better, um, I haven't done that yet, but I am going to change the props to have a little bit of a better hover because it's a bit too aggressive. Comes with the tubes for your antennas and all in all, it's a really nicely finished off piece of kit. Comes at around 128 quid. It weighs 110 grams without a battery. I've been flying them um, on this and this is the Beta. FPV 850 and are coming around 200 grams with this. This is the 75C 4S, plenty of power. Uh, and it do unfortunately, these batteries come from Amazon. I think they're 30 quid for two, but they do come with an XT60 on. Uh, and I couldn't be bothered cutting that off and, so, and soldering it on, so I've just used an adapter. I will cut this off and just put an uh, adapter, but if you leave it on, it gives me the uh, thing to use this on a five. Uh, inch so nice batteries i've gone to quite a few flights with these now there's not real sag there but they're only 75c so i don't recommend them for hardcore but for the, something like this i think it's absolutely fantastic so like i said a really nice little quad it's probably coming in about the right price and the camera run cam i don't know if you've ever used a run cam nano 2 but i actually like them i think they're like decent enough little cameras they perform well enough in but you need medium light to high. You don't want to fly this in low light. 
because they're not the best low light camera ever. Couple of things I don't like about it. Well, one thing I mainly don't like is about it is the battery strap. This is it. The battery connector is not held on to anything. You'd think it'd have a little mount to hold it there. And they do actually have a mount on the five inch. You have a little holder that holds it in place because this is straight and it's long. So if you imagine you've got to chuck, you've got to connect your battery up and sort of push the whole thing into the battery strap to hold it out of the way, which is going to do that bottom end no good whatsoever. So what I tend to do is maybe just, I don't know, maybe manufacture a type of mount to hold it probably towards the back. But yeah, it's not the greatest design ever. I appreciate that really. Um, the board's, the board is a nice board, it seems. I've not had one of these before, but if you had to do, you build your own. I don't think you'd have any problems with it. There's a nice enough space in between the <coughs> points. So yeah, all in all, nice thing. I'll have a proper video coming up shortly of this with a flight test. I'll probably flight test it as well with the um, small 4K camera from Insta360. Uh, we'll have some footage from that because I have got the mount that I printed the mount off for it. So yeah, nice little thing, decent for the money, and the best thing is of course you can buy it in the UK. One thing I have noticed is if you've been looking on Banggood recently, you're probably going to notice that you can only get, if on your location there's a lot less quads now available to you, and that's probably, well I'm guessing, I'm no definite for this, but I'm presuming it's because of Brexit and if it's coming from the EU they'll now import duty on these kind of things. So it's not as easy to get and you're going to have to be a bit careful where you buy stuff from moving forward. I tend to buy from Unmount Tech, Hobby RC, Drone Authority. The Drone Authority are actually really near my house so I love buying from them. Keep local businesses going. And I buy the odd stuff from quadcopters.co.uk but they never seem to have stock of anything. So therefore companies you can buy them from, sure they're a little bit more than if you were buying it from Banggood but the difference in price on this was £6 and I got this next day, so you can't really beat that can you. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day.